In this lesson, we'll create a gallery. We're going to use the table layout and image swapping in order to create a, a visually pleasing gallery. The first stage, we've already created a site to hold our gallery. The site can be seen here, and the name of the site is here. This will contain the folders and the images and the files for the gallery. The next stage is to create a new HTML file. I've got one open, but I'll close that one and I'll create a new one. So you can either create by going to create new and HTML, or you can go to file, new, new document, HTML, give it a title, gallery show, make sure it's HTML5, there should be no attached CSS, and all you need to do then is create, click create. That opens a new page for you. The next stage is to set up the layout of the page. So we're going to insert a div to hold the to hold the entire gallery on the page. Make sure you're clicked in the body of the page. Go to insert HTML and div. The insert div box will come at, and it will the first point is insert at insertion point. Leave that as it is and click new CSS rule. So we'll open up the new CSS rule box. We're going to create a style for this box. So the first thing we need to do is the selector type we're looking for is an ID. Select ID. The name for this area is, it's going to wrap around the entire page layout. So we're going to call it wrapper. It's going to wrap around the entire layout. So just give it the name wrapper. This style is only for this document only. So click OK. It now takes you to the CSS rule where you will style the actual area of the page. The first thing you need to do is select a background. I'm going to click create a moody background in black. So click black. And then we're going to create a box area to hold the gallery. So we're going to give it a width of 1002 pixels, giving it a height of 600. Can you go to the margin area? We want this box to be centered on the page. So when you get to the margin area, select the top one and click auto. Now what that does is it basically sets auto for the top, right, bottom and left margins, which will help the particular air, uh, layout sit in the middle of the page. So <coughs> click OK once that's complete. As you can see in the insert div, you now have an ID wrapper and it will apply the appropriate styling to that area. Just click OK. So you've got the basic layout of your page ready. It's a div box sitting in the right place and it's centered and it's ready to hold your gallery or whatever else you want to put on that page. Um, we'll move on to the next part which is creating the table layout for the gallery.